Oh, our vehicle. Oh, yes, it went off. I don't know how, but my proxy, the bomb went off. Hello, everybody. Great Steel Blades, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. No time for BS. So Brick Rigs just had a little bit of an update. Nothing too amazing. It fixed a couple of things, though, including the wheel wobble, the little jello wheels that we would get every once in a while. But what the update did do is it gave a bunch of people more time to make cool things. So right here, and it was only a matter of time. We have, I don't know, what looks like a flying Winnebago or something. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I feel vaguely reminiscent, though, to space balls. All right, Lone Star, let's go ahead and take this thing off and see if it flies. I think it will. I don't know. It's got wings on it. Oh, 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 it's working. Yes. The flying Winnebago is a success. Holy crap. This thing is fast too. Going 700 kilometers per hour. Oh God. All right. It gets a little wobbly every once in a while. There we go. Oh wow. Yeah. This thing does twists and turns and all kinds of crazy crap. I don't know how to straighten myself back out to where we were at. I imagine we got to be coming close to the damn wall too. Oh jeez. Have we gone off the map? Yeah, we have gone far off the map here. I think much farther than we were supposed to go. Oh, I kind of wonder if the uh, if the developer removed the the map restriction. Oh, this thing is impossible to drive. Yeah, so it does fly. It's not really the best when it comes to turning, but uh, definitely gets off the ground. So we got to give it points for that. One of the other things I absolutely had to take a look at for you guys was this creature right here. Hold on, let me go ahead and zoom back so you can understand just how big this thing is. So one of the other updates that the developer did was they removed the block count limit to how many blocks you could have for a vehicle. So this thing has over 1,200 blocks. This thing is absolutely insane. I think it'll fit. Yeah, I think it'll fit over here into the blender. I kind of want to see what it takes to blend this thing up. I mean, this thing is just ginormous. Hold on, let's go ahead and send it soaring into the blender here and see what sort of... Oh my god, we almost made it to the other end. The other end of the little the little sad fan shoot here and down into the death bladed trap. There we go. Look at this. The, the width or the length of it is almost the length of this entire bladed area. Oh, wow. This thing is just going to bounce everywhere. Oh, there's going to be so many blocks on the screen. It's so bad. But it's still alive. Look at the punishment this thing could take before breaking. It's got two guns on it, too. I wonder if we can fire them. Uh, no, it doesn't look like they're firing. I think the problem... Oh, we've got... <laughs> Hold on. Here's us down here. We're just... We're just kind of laying calmly on the top of the blade like everything's just fine. This is probably the safest place to be, quite honestly. Now, I, I do feel that our body would be spinning around if we were on top because you can see the top is moving. Look at all the particles in here. Look at all. This is so cool. I love how they're all independently flying, too, so smoothly as well. I really got to, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to say that this game is like the best optimized game ever made, but I can tell you I have played a lot of guy, a lot of games that are way less optimized than this, especially to pull something like this off without any real frame rate stuttering. The one thing that I've noticed when it comes to stutters is usually when a giant explosion happens, there's a lot of, there's like a, an immediate freeze that kind of occurs. That's the one thing I've seen. Let's go ahead and recover this thing real quick here. Show you guys the guns real fast too. Now this thing has a few things that you can do. First off, it does have the totally mobile guns right here. And there's a set of, well, there's a couple of sets of guns here. There's first off the, the blasty blasty gun. Boom. And then on top of that, we also have like a rapid fire cannon that fires as well. So right there. And look at the range. The range of motion this thing has is fantastic. We can probably take that little building down there. I didn't like that building anyway. Now on top of that, as usual, Verdeth and his creations. This thing does move, or I should say the uh, the wheels and stuff kind of like lift up like that. Let's go ahead and move this thing like right over here. We'll kind of get a better look at it. We go like this. This thing will like raise up like a little platform a little bit, kind of like raises up. I don't really know what happens if we move it this way. Okay, so it looks like there's a limiter to how far it raises now. That's probably a good idea so it doesn't break itself. I wonder if it like has a lot of stability. Wow. 
Yeah, a lot of stability from this position. Like, if we lower ourselves back down and we fire, look, it, it like, skids, if you can see. Like, it skids backwards. Oh, we're losing particles. There's so much firepower behind this thing. Oh, little brick rigs, uh, little brick rigs canisters right there. I wonder if we can hit them from here. Yeah, got him. Blew the top right off. So with that as it is, I don't know if this thing is going to be able to make it up the ramp there. I kind of want to get it into the grinder. If we can, just knock down the fence. No big deal. Not like anyone was using it anyway. Oh, we can fit. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Let's do this. And then let's do this. And I think we may be able to get up easier. Uh, I kind of, I was hoping that we could, but I don't think. No, it's just not. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got another idea. Let's go ahead and turn the turret around. Hold on, let me let me go ahead and put this thing on uh, on stop here. Go ahead and put ourselves like this a little bit, and I'm gonna try and like blast us up this thing. Oh, give me give me one second here. Nope, that was a big old negative. That was worth a shot. Okay, I had to show you guys this one. This thing is called the Grave Digger, and besides being freaking cool as hell looking, this thing is like 690 blocks, so it's way above the limit that we had. I think the limit that we had was 300. So this thing's about twice as many blocks on it. It has this sweet, like, battering ram in the front, almost like a snow plow. And one of the cool things is you can actuate either side of the snow plow so you can raise and lower it. Like, see this right here? You can have it go, like, all the way up, all the way down. Mess with the other one a little bit as well here. But what we want to use it for is I want to see just how well it can plow through the opposition. So this is kind of supposed to be like a, um, I don't know, I guess like a like a wasteland style Mad Max kind of vehicle here. You can see all the horns in there have you on it. Now I've set up a little obstacle course over here of four vehicles of gr growing size. And we're going to see how well we can bust through them. This thing, if you hear it, this thing has... A hell of an engine inside here. This has that uh, that V8 drag racing engine that the game gave us the update to a little while back. So it can move if it has to. Let me go ahead and kind of... Now the very first thing that we have here is a tiny little go-kart. So we're going to see if we can blast past this using the Grave Digger. I'm not foreseeing any trouble, of course. But I do... I am kind of curious to see how well the little... Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll, I'll just call it like a ram. The ram on the front works because, again, we're using the same bricks as everything else, so I don't really know if they'll have, like, more impressive staying power than anything. Let's go ahead and blast through this thing here. All right, let's get let's get nice and, nice and low right here as we sweep on through this. Oh, crap! All right, well, I kind of went over the card. Uh, all right, hold on. Okay, everything's set back up again. Let's go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and lower the plow a little bit. Right about there we go. A little bit lower on this side over there. And right to the bottom as far down as we can go over there. Now hopefully we don't have a problem. I, the reason, the other reason I kind of like this particular garage on this board is you're not going over anything to get to the roadside, which is kind of nice because a lot of these vehicles are really, really low. Um, okay, good. Yeah, this looks perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's try and blast past this thing again. All right, looking good, looking good. Here we go. Can the battering ram, can it Can it accept the power of this tiny little cart? I can't imagine the cart really having, oh, that was weird. We just kind of like love tapped it. What the hell was that? Oh, somehow the parking brake came on. How did I put the parking brake on? Did my freaking hand slip? I don't know. Okay, one more time, here we go. This time without the freaking parking brake. There we go. Now we, now we actually have a little bit of momentum. Skablam! Oh yeah! There we go. Our plow came off in one shot last time, but not this time. And then, wah! Through the second car. Ah, the plow pretty much came undone right there, but we're still moving forward. So I'm still gonna count it. The third vehicle. Kind of pushing it to the side, sort of. Grave Digger losing a little bit of its torque and power. Only at about 60 kilometers per hour. Oh, 66, but the problem is we're going off the we're going off the road. Hold on. We gotta try and at least hit this fire truck right over here. I think that's what the hell this is. Come on. Oh, we're gonna get it with our last little plow. Ye no, <laughs> we went over it. Oh, no, no, we skinned it. We skinned the top. It still counts, and now we're gonna roll. 
and be sad and land right on the tracks. Well, guys, you know what happens whenever you're laying on the tracks. Real quick, though, I would like to at least take a little look at the path of destruction we left behind. We did get through at least three of the vehicles. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. The, the unstoppable train up against the grave digger. Who will be victorious? I have a feeling it's the train. Why is our car bouncing randomly? And... Oh, well, that was that wasn't that bad. That was not that bad. I expected things to be much much worse Oh, we landed back on the tracks who would have thought okay? Let's go ahead and blow some stuff up real quick All right, so I want to set off a nice big explosion What we're gonna try and do is take out as many buildings as possible in one shot here So what I've got is I've got a couple of vehicles. I'm gonna park over here as well I feel like Fire and rescue should really be over here. You can see I did an excellent job of rear-ending the hell out of out of these various vehicles. We're going to go ahead and park these on the side of the road over here, kind of like this. And by the side of the road, I mean right in the middle of the road because it's kind of difficult to get up on this little lip. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. Let's go ahead and get, like, one more car over there. I think I want to see, like, a nice police vehicle or something. Now, a lot of people have been making, like, a lot of giant bombs in the game now, which is fine. Because I love blowing stuff up, so there's no problem with a nice bomb vehicle. But man, they are becoming very, very prevalent. All they are really is just like big rigs with bombs on them. So you kind of get like a, uh, it'll look like a like a tractor trailer. Only on the back, it's going to be like a bunch of thrusters, and the thrusters kind of act as explosives for the most part. So. When something shoots them or comes into contact with them or something like that, they just go up in flames. It's freaking awesome. I think we'll be able to get at least four buildings in this shot here. Maybe even more. Ooh, I'm kind of curious. The buildings might fall on top of other buildings. Oh, we're a real Lego terrorist now. Please don't try this at home, people. Don't blow up buildings with Legos. Actually, if you can blow up buildings with Legos, let me know. I'm sure somewhere out there there's a bomb that you can make with Legos. Um, I have a feeling, though, that... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that no one watching here has the skill to do something like that. I would hate for someone to recreate something horrible because they saw Grey do it in a video game. <laughs> so here's our bomb vehicle. I need to be very, very careful with this thing because it has a drag racing engine on it. Why? I don't know. Probably just because whoever made it wanted me to have the most difficult time possible carting all these explosives over to where they need to go. But if this thing flips over, it will explode like violently so and I don't we don't want this to explode yet we want to get to the designated area which is right about here yes that is what we want right there okay now we just need something to kind of shoot this from a distance I wonder you know man I almost I want like a plane to do it I just don't have a really nice takeoff area here reason why I kind of want a plane to do it well I guess we could use a helicopter too. hold on here there might be a helicopter that that can kind of do what we need done all right I tried to use a freaking uh, a freaking helicopter or something it was just too much of a pain in the ass sadly to try and maneuver everything into place so we're just gonna use a big ass tank and blow things up that way not that it's a terrible way to blow things up after all I would give I would still say that this will be a uh, a clear and decisive victory for son of a bitch really Hold on, let me see if I can get out of this if we do a little bit of this right here I can maneuver slightly better oh come on you dirty whore yes Ec oh it's kind of moving hold on uh there we go yeah uh, okay I think I've got everything working appropriately now. Nope, sure don't. Okay, so this is one of the things I would like to see change. This is ridiculous. Like, there's no reason for this to get stuck on these sad little sidewalks. A giant thing like this to get stuck so easily. And, like, once you're there, there's just no way out. It's just a giant pain in the ass. Okay, guys, we made it. It's time to see what sort of destruction... We can level right over here. Let me go ahead and line this thing up. Let me see if I can get the camera looking right about. That should right about there, I would think. Okay, we are zoomed all the way back. Go ahead and hit the slow-mo button. And let's go ahead and level this entire city. Bam. Total miss. One more. Oh, a bunch of pieces of our vehicle just went flying off. All right. 
One more time. That looks good. No. Just a little bit low. Oh my god. This is this is like this should be like shooting fish in a barrel. Yee! <laughs> You're gonna be shitting me. Okay, this is it. Third time or fourth time's the charm. No. This time, I'm hitting everything around this creature. You gotta be shitting me, come on, man. Oh, our vehicle. Oh, yes, it went off. I don't know how, but my proxy, the bomb went off in some random way. I think it was just because the flames were surrounding it. <laughs> so it exploded that way. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. There is like buildings glitching through buildings, stuff's falling to the ground. We have devastated an entire city block. That's what I was looking for, boys. Oh, wow. We may have taken more. That's like, oh, I guess that's a block when you think about it because, hold on, let me get out of this here. Because this is like half a block and this is like another half of a block. So in total, it's an entire block. Wow, the explosion. Now, this may not have been the explosion. This may have been the guns that didn't want to perform correctly. I don't know why they they haven't been paid an adequate wage, so they're kind of getting annoyed at everything I'm expecting of them. To be fair, it took a long time to set this up for so little payoff. Now, I will say that I don't think I've taken down as many buildings in one shot. Oh, we're starting to glitch things out. I don't think I've taken down as many buildings as one shot as we did this time, so that's kind of new and exciting. This is, I think this is at least six buildings that were taken down on top of that all of the vehicles here have been totally annihilated there's only the charred kind of exploding physics wreckage that's left we can kind of s swim on through it here and you'll see all the pieces go flying now and again that's crazy oh well oh, wow holy crap i almost went flying through the earth anyway just a couple more things that people have built and just cool to kind of see how they interact i want if at all possible what i'd really like to see is a way to move these vehicles around a little bit easier so that you can set up things like this rather than having to like drive them around especially if there's these little ridges like this because so many vehicles get caught on these ridges it just kind of makes things very very difficult to set up little explosive scenes and there have you guys if you think that there's some sort of thing that we need to try some little scene that we need to set up some kind of explosion some sort of firepower or crash feel free to let me know in the comment section below until the next time folks stay foxy and much love